Look at this. We are in the backyard barbecue. Nick Raybar is here. The sun is shining. What better day uh, than this can this be? We've got grilled animal style burgers yes. on the menu. And yes. not just that, Nick, I'm going to ask you to stand yeah, up. Yeah, I'm going to step aside step for the real the star. Way, because here we go. We have this real is stars. Our inaugural yes. Brand new. Yes. Brand new grill. Ooh. We're, we're real stars like the Weber. Chris Look Knight is here. The Weber grill. These are real Look stars here today. Look and this thing this. is shiny. We're gonna, it won't be for long, Will. We're going to put this sucker to, to, to good work today. I Trust me. I was looking at this this morning. I'm happy you were yeah. making burgers, but I said it's almost too nice to even cook. Yeah, let's go back inside. But we're going to make go burgers. Back inside. We're going to fire it up. We are going to fire it up. And the reason why we're doing these burgers is because of this grill. Yeah. I can't think of a better dish than to break in a grill with than a nice old-fashioned oh, yeah. burger. Right. So I have... The things you would think of when you're doing a burger. Nothing off the charts. I've got pickles, I've got lettuce, I've got American cheese, I've got tomato, I've got nice, soft, squishy Martin potato buns, yep. and I've got some secret sauce here, which okay. is like a little mix of mayonnaise and ketchup and mustard and a, a couple of other spices. Then I've got the beautiful burgers. They're like five ounce. Now, Nick, we, we know all this. Yep. We've seen this before. So what is so special? Well, we're going to do them animal style. What does that mean? So on the West Coast, there's this famous uh, fast food chain called In-N-Out Burgers. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. They do an animal style burger. And when they grill the burger, they brush it with, like, old-fashioned yellow mustard. Ooh. So it adds this, like tanginess to the oh, burger. It that. really, really makes it special. So while we may know that burgers are everyday backyard things, these few little things today that I'm going to show you are going to help you level up your burger. Okay. It, it's with the sauce. It's with the, the way we're going to heat up the buns when we grill the burgers. Right. The technique, breaking it on this beautiful Weber. Yep. Like, it's all good stuff. I, why am I always breaking and, in everybody's Weber? Well, I don't know, but you can do it right I here. broke in Jess's look, Weber. Look, we made grilled uh, pizzas. And, and look, I know you, you make incredible food at, at the restaurant, but one of the best things on your menu yes. is the burger that you make Thank all you. the time. And Thank it you. is delicious. So Thank we'll you. put this together. We're going to fire up this grill, uh, get oh. things cooking for, you know, we'll kick <laughs> off the nice weather coming Let's this go. weekend as well. Back to you. Backyard barbecue yes. is where we are. We've got yes. uh, Nick Raybar here working the grill. Yes. Working the, the Weber. It animal feels burgers, good. Animal burgers on the, uh, on yes. the grill. Yes. It feels good. They are on the grill. Yes. These are the animal burgers. Yes. So let me tell you what we've done. Okay. Is I took the burgers, I seasoned them with salt and pepper, put them on the grill, and then I brushed them with the yellow mustard. Mm -hmm. That's what makes this fun and different than just your regular old run of the mill burger. Got it. Now, it's, what's going to go well with that? The standard stuff. The last time I did a burger on this show was probably seven or eight years ago, and I right. stuffed it with barbecue short rib, and the thing was completely out of control and it was, was the delicious. size of my head. It was good. It was delicious. Remember that? See, it made a memory. But I wanted to go super simple today. So I stopped there with the lettuce. Will, if I'm going to have you want? put the rest of the lettuce on it. And I'm the, going the, to, uh, yeah. The mustard you use, is it just, is it like a Dijon? Or no, no. Get the cheapest just, mustard possible. Oh, okay. All right, okay. You want just yellow, yellow mustard, like simple, cheap, inexpensive, right, right, nothing right, fancy. Right. That's what you're looking for. Now, I've made a little special sauce here, okay? Mm -hmm. yep. So this has... Uh, this has your standard, like, special sauce stuff. It has mustard, it has mayonnaise, and it has ketchup. I put a little paprika in there, right. a little bit of pickle juice, and I'm going to go on top of the burgers with that. You won't now, be patties. The, uh, I know Eric can special sing the song. Sauce. I've heard him sing it. I've heard him sing it. So I'm going to go on with that. And then the reason I'm going to go on with the sauce, Will, is because I'm also going to go on with the tops of the buns. Mm -hmm. And what this is going to do is this is going to let the tops of the buns steam a little bit Ooh. coming off the burger. And what we'll do is we'll close this grill, we'll count to 20, right? and then we're going to take these, uh, you know, you don't want take that them off. Yeah, then we're going to take them off. And so then, you've when, done great when, over when there, yes. When people buy, uh, get uh, like Hamburg, like round Hamburg, do you yes. have a recommendation about, because when, when I'm standing there, it 100%. says like 85%, 80%, yes. this, what do you need? This is for real. 80-20 is the magic number. Okay. Because that's your right fat to lean ratio. But you also want to be very aware of the source of the beef. Got because it. a lot of the times you'll get, you'll go to a grocery store and with all the respect to everyone out there that's working so hard to create food, some of them are like have pink dye in it so they stay looking pink on the shelves. You want like a real uninjected, beautiful, all natural right. type of ground beef. And uh, a lot of people will say grass fed, that's fine. It doesn't have to be grass fed. As long as it says all natural somewhere on there, you know you're not getting any like fluff in there. And it but tastes, that's critical. It tastes completely different. Monumental. Too. Yeah, it really Monumental. Does. Yeah. These are the little things that separate an okay backyard burger from a great backyard burger, right. including the little steam. So oh, come on. Let's look take a this. look at those. Those are getting nice and soft. And you see the cheese wheel is melted. I do. But it's not I'm like. With you, Nick. Yeah, it's not like gooey all over the place melted. Let's yeah, go me, on top. You, no, you I can, these no I can no. make it. I are can make sure? it, buddy. Okay. I'm a pro. All right. I'm a pro. Okay. So let's go on with those right there. And I like when the cheese kind of looks like that, Will, because it's 
it's not like you want to taste the cheese and sometimes it can almost like liquefy on the grill there. These burgers are going to be about medium in temperature. And by the way, for anyone that knows us as well as many of our fans know, this is a brand new grill and it is sensational. <laughs> it is getting we got our money's worth out of this It is getting my today. seal of approval. Now check that out, Will. Look when you this. are serving a burger in a backyard, you want it to look like that. Oh, you want, it's picturesque. Wow, oui. It's what you want. I got a little plate here, buddy, so you okay. can dig it because I know you are oh, a yeah. big burger guy. Yeah, I love I love a good burger. Will is a big burger here. guy. You know, and I don't need any like fancy sh fancy cheese no, on it. No, forget it. I'm happy forget with it. the cheese. You open the package. Oop, Gooey American is where it's at when you're doing something like this. That's a picturesque little burger. I put a little sauce on the bottom right I put the lettuce well you put the lettuce the tomato the pickle the cheese it's just slightly sure. melted I'm getting pretty hungry here they give me right, one of those right. burgers you well, want a burger yeah okay. I'm gonna yeah. eat with you I'm gonna grab when was the this. last time I ever ate on, on the show I don't think I've ever eaten on no, the no, show no. was I you, cheers buddy cheers, cheers, cheers to cheers summer to happy summer right. to everybody um you want to tell us about the restaurant no a couple of, no no <laughs> the restaurant's great come see us it's Avenue M but I don't want to tell you about that I want to tell you how great the road show is and how great this grill and how great these burgers are dear Mike isn't that simple and delicious and amazing? Like yeah. Mm. The bun gets nice and soft and squishy. I use Martin's potato roll. And that is like one of the stay squishy buns. Right. And I like that squishy bun with a nice charred burger like that. Oh, that is so good. Yeah, that came out Nick great. Nick Raybar, thank you for coming thank in. Thank you, Will. Uh, two restaurants. I'm going back to work over here. Avenue N, one on Hope Street, one in Providence, one over here in, in Rumford. They're everywhere. A third to be open very soon. Mm -hmm. Still in the works. It's working. <laughs> we'll get there. In the meantime, we got burgers. <laughs> the pyramids were built. Yes, yeah, they were. <laughs> and, they, and they're still standing. <laughs> so hopefully, if we take our time, yeah. it's, it's, it'll, happen. it'll still be It'll standing. happen soon We'll enough. get there. Uh, we'll post the recipe at uh, roadshow.com. Cheers. That's a good one.